EXE files are designed to run on Windows operating systems. Ubuntu uses a different file format called EEB. We can't just double click on EXE file and expect it to run. But don't worry, there is a solution. It's called Wine. Wine is a compatibility layer that allows you to run lots of Windows programs right onto Linux. So in this video, let's see how to install your favorite EXE files on Ubuntu. Let's get started with the Wine installation. We'll be using the terminal, so open it up. Now enter these commands one by one. First up, we need to enable 32-bit architecture. This is crucial because Wine often requires 32-bit libraries to run many Windows application. Next, download and add the Wine HQ repository key to your system. Now, it's time to add the Wine HQ repository to your apt sources. The command for this step varies based on your Ubuntu version's codename. I am currently on Ubuntu 22.04, which has the codename Jammy Jellyfish. If you are using a different Ubuntu version, simply replace Jammy in the command with your specific codename. To find your codename, just run this in the terminal. After adding the new repository, you need to refresh your package list. Finally, let's install the stable release of Wine. You also have the option to install development or staging releases, but they might be less stable compared to the stable release. Now check the Wine version to confirm the installation. Once Wine is installed, you need to configure it. To open the configuration window, type Wine CF6 and press Enter. Once the configuration window opens, you'll see an option to choose a Windows version for your Wine environment. It's usually set to Windows 10 by default, but I recommend switching to Windows 7. Older Windows program tend to work better with Wine that way. Of course, you can always select Windows 10 or a different version if you need to. Now it's time to download the exe files for the programs you want to install. Keep in mind that not all the Windows programs will run smoothly with Wine. Some might have issues or not work at all. Before you download an exe file, I recommend checking the Wine AppDB website to see if your specific program is compatible with Wine. Wine AppDB is a community maintained database with lots of information about how well different Windows apps and games run under Wine. I'll include the link in the video description. In the search bar, type the name of the Windows program you want with Wine. Let's search for Microsoft Office. Open the program's database page. Look for the rating next to different versions of the program. Platinum means the program runs perfectly with Wine. Gold means there might be some minor issues. Silver means there are noticeable issues. Bronze indicates major problems. And garbage means the programs won't run at all. As you can see, Microsoft Office 2003 has a Platinum rating. So I'll install it with Wine. You can click on the program's name to see more details. You'll find specific instructions on how to install and set up the program with Wine. Let's check another popular program, Adobe Reader. You'll see that Adobe Reader 8 or 9 both have platinum ratings, so I'll install Adobe Reader as well. 
You can use the same process to find compatible versions of other Windows programs you want to use. Alright, I have downloaded Microsoft Office 2003, Adobe Reader 8, Audacity, Google Chrome and Internet Download Manager. Now I'll use Wine to install and run them one by one. Let's start with Adobe Reader. To install it, right click on the exe file and open it with Wine Windows Program Loader. Wine will then run the exe file just like it would on a Windows computer. Once it's installed, you will see a shortcut on your desktop. Wine creates a virtual C drive within your home directory to mimic the Windows environment. This virtual C drive is usually hidden with the Wine folder. Toggle the visibility of hidden files. The Wine folder should now appear. Inside, you'll find a folder named Drive C. This represents the virtual C drive of your Wine environment. Inside the Drive C folder, you should see the familiar Windows directory structure. Here, I'll paste my PDF file inside a new folder. Now let's open the PDF file in Adobe Reader. We'll install and run the other exe files in the same way. Please have a look.
So as you have seen, this method works great for most programs. But remember, not all exe files will run perfectly. If you encounter any issues, be sure to check the Wine app DB page for specific instructions. If you ever want to uninstall a Windows program, you can use Wine's built-in uninstaller. Just open your terminal and type Wine uninstaller. This will open a list of installed programs. Just select the one you want to remove and you are done. If you decide you no longer need Wine, you can easily uninstall it. In your terminal, type this command to remove Wine packages. This command uninstalls the main Wine package and related configuration files. Then enter this command to clean up any residual files. The next two commands will remove the Wine repository and its key. Finally, refresh your package list after removing the Wine repository. Guys, if Wine doesn't work for you or if you need more complex Windows environment, another option is to use a virtual machine. You can install VirtualBox or VMware and run a full Windows installation within Ubuntu. This way you'll have access to all the Windows programs. If this video helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials and tech tips. Thanks for watching.